We're going to use the Power Automate visual to collect data and then email it directly to the participant of your choice. Welcome back to Wise Owl Shorts. If you're returning to us, consider giving us a subscribe so you get notified about our new emails released every single week. And remember, you can always leave comments down below with questions that you've got or maybe techniques you want to explore. Now, back to the video. In this data set, we have a bunch of different sales, we have who made the sale and which department they belong to. We have a selector choosing which product we are interested in looking at. And we have these two buttons that allow us to switch between email address. So if you don't want people knowing what email address is available, you just want them to type it in, you can do so. Or if you want, you can send it to a department. I'm going to send my email to the complaints department. I can see here when I change my selections, how many of those orders are being sent. Then I'm going to click onto this button, my Power Automate visual, and I'm going to add the data that I want to email. So in this case, I want to send my product name and I want to send how many units and finally the email address of the customer. Now I'm going to click on the ellipses of the visual and choose edit. And sadly, there isn't a template for this. So we're going to make one from scratch, instant Cloudflow. This is going to pass in the details from Power BI. So I'm going to add new step and I'm going to capture it into an HTML table. Create HTML. The data that I want to pass in is funnily enough, Power BI data. I'm going to choose advanced options. Automate, I want custom. The first header is the product. The second one is the sales. The value that I'm passing in is going to be the Power BI product name. And in sales, it's going to be the Power BI data quantity. If I leave it like this, my user is going to get a really bland looking table. So I'm going to add a new step and that's going to be the compose step. There are plenty of websites out there that allow you to create your own stylings. So consider doing that. I'm going to paste mine in. Make sure that it has a style tag and has these table tags before closing the style tag. Now I've formatted my table, I need my final step, which will be to, funnily enough, send an email. I'm going to go down, send an email. I'm going to click in here. When you're first testing, I strongly recommend that you choose dynamic and then send it to your own email. This is also useful if you want the user when they're filtering data to send the email to themselves. I'm going to go with my Power BI email. The subject is going to be product sales. The body will be hey. And then I'm going to put in my HTML table followed by the code that styles it. All the best, Sam. Before I click on save, I'm going to remember to rename my flow, send email, save that, save and apply. Back to report. Just like with buttons, we're going to hold control and click on run flow. To see if it worked, click on the ellipses, choose edit, click on your flow, and then I can see it has succeeded. If I switch to my browser, I can see a new email has arrived. And if I open that, I can see my formatted table. I hope you've enjoyed this YSL short. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.